Welcome back to a brand new video on the Goalanger channel and today it's Derby County versus Rotherham United. Now it is Wayne Rooney's first game in charge as official manager of Derby County. Obviously he was the caretaker manager for the main part of this season and now he has taken the role as the official manager. He's retired. What a great career Wayne Rooney has had. In my opinion, the best player England has ever produced. And now he's managing my team, Derby County Fulham. Liam Rossini is an assistant. Shea Given is still on the staff, as well as the other staff members are still at Derby County. Now, we're facing Rotherham coming off the back of last weekend's FA Cup loss against Chorley, where we had to field a team of under-18s because of a coronavirus outbreak in the camp and I think there's still a few players out with coronavirus and we haven't been able to pick our full strength team. Kelly Roo steps into the team now, Bradley Foster is on the bench and academy player there as a standing substitute goalkeeper. Jaden Mitchell Laws comes in, Cade Gordon the academy player so it's a mix of the academy but still a first team squad from Derby County. Now Rotherham sit 23rd in the championship, three points behind Derby we sit 22nd, level on points with Chef Wednesday, looking to climb out of the relegation zone. Now, this is a massive relegation six-pointer for both sides. Both sides will want to beat each other today. A draw just won't cut it. Both sides will want to win. So what's my score prediction? I'm going to predict a 2-1 Derby County win. I think it's going to be a tough game, but a very entertaining game in that one itself. So hopefully I'm correct and Derby County can get three points today. Come on, you Rams. Full time, Derby nil, Rotherham one. We weren't good enough in that game at all. It was a relegation six pointer, like I said before the game, and we just weren't good enough. Rotherham with a better side, they scored and it got disallowed. I can't remember whether that was in the first half. I think it was in the first half, and it was an offside. So they were a bit unlucky there to have that goal disallowed. But then they scored late on Derby County, conceding another late goal. We've been doing that all season. And I think it was probably deserved for Rotherham. They'd been outdone by that error of disallowing the first goal that they'd scored. And then they eventually got their award late on. But Derby, we just weren't at it today. A lot of poor performances from the players there. You can tell we haven't played a game of first-team football for about two weeks now. It hit us today and I wouldn't say either side were brilliant, but the movement and the speed from Derby just wasn't enough. There was a lack of movement. We weren't moving the ball quick enough and we were committing a lot of fouls. Christian Bielik obviously got substituted towards the end as he was committing a lot, but it just wasn't good enough today. And Rotherham take the three points. And I'll be honest, this is the first time today I've thought relegation is a very strong possibility this season. We've lost a lot of games where you've gone, those were six pointers, such as Sheffield Wednesday away. And, you know, we might beat the odd team here and there, but we just don't seem to be climbing out of that relegation zone anytime soon because we're just not putting the form together in teams above us are winning. I think it's going to take something special to drag us out and away from the relegation zone. But we've still got a good part of the season to play now, but... Those sort of losses today are crushing. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Follow my social medias in the description. I'll see you in the next one.